There must be something about the year 1886 that lends itself to the steampunk style and fancy technological innovations. Like PS4 exclusive The Order 1886, Iron Cast also takes place in Victorian era England. That's about all it has in common with The Order though. Iron Cast is a creative blend of gem matching, role playing, and roguelike. For a gem matching game, I was impressed with Iron Cast's robust combat. Each mechanical walking monstrosity, known as an Iron Cast, is equipped with two weapons, a defense system, and a drive system. The weapons attack your opponents, of course, the defense system creates a protective shield around you, and the drive system makes your iron cast ambulatory, which increases its chance to evade attacks. You can use each system as many times as you want during the turn, provided you have enough energy to do so. In between battles, you'll make a visit to the hangar where you can repair and upgrade your iron cast. You can build new weapon parts from blueprints swiped from enemy walkers, as well as increase your max health and energy storage. Everything in the game costs scrap, which you'll gain from completing missions and defeating enemies. You can also swap powerful character, weapon, and iron cast augments that you've unlocked by leveling up your iron cast in battle. With as intricate as the combat and modification systems are in the game, the actual gem matching is surprisingly rudimentary. Sure, the gems fuel your weapons and defenses, but there's not a whole lot of strategy when matching gems. Each side gets to take three straight turns and play off of different boards, so you're never sniping gems that your opponents could use. You usually just want to match whatever chain is largest regardless of its type. If you're full of energy reserves, but there's a massive energy chain playable on the puzzle board, go ahead and power up your shields and drives and then grab the chain. You'll end up refilling your ammo and energy on almost every turn and alternate between picking up repair, coolant, and scrap energy every other turn or so. A war is being waged between England and France, and a massive enemy tank is marching towards your city center. You only have nine days to power up your iron cast enough to face it head on. Each day you're able to choose between three different missions that award you with varying amounts of XP and gold. There are several different mission types, some as simple as going through a couple branching paths of dialogue to trade for supplies. Others are far more complex, requiring you to survive multiple turns or salvage a certain part of an enemy iron cast by killing it without damaging a specific weapon, drive, or shield on it. Be careful which mission you choose because consequences are dire if you're killed in action. Iron Cast features permadeath, meaning die once and it's all the way back to the beginning. You'll lose everything, your progress, upgrades, weapons, blueprints, augments, gold, and XP. Iron Cast can be relentlessly unforgiving and even the smallest of mistakes can cost you everything. Success in Iron Cast can be extremely reliant on luck. I've had times where ammo gems poured down upon me and I was able to quickly dispatch with my foes. But I've also had times where I can't for the life of me get a decent energy chain to power up my shields. Even worse is when I'm out of coolant and unable to refill my reserves. When coolant is at zero, the walker is essentially rendered useless and becomes nothing more than a deer in the headlights of the opposing iron cast. Because success can be so reliant on luck and failure so gravely punished, it's needless to say that iron cast can be a very frustrating game. When the RNG doesn't go your way, when your iron cast misses a couple shots, or when you can't get the gems you need, all these luck-based outcomes can cost you dearly. I'm not sure if I'm just bad at the game, or the game itself is too hard for its own good. I know I still need more practice and to fine tune my strategies, but sometimes it really feels like even the best Iron Cast players could only actually beat the game a small percentage of the time due to the random number generator. That being said, I hate to criticize the game simply because it's hard. Plenty of hard games are also excellent. The Dark Souls series has generated a massive fan base, and one of my favorite games of all time, Spelunky, is also mercifully difficult. So it's not so much that Iron Cast is hard. Many will tell you that games like Dark Souls and Spelunky aren't hard. There are almost no games in this world that can't be mastered through practice and dedication. It's just that none of those games, Iron, Iron Cast included, are terribly accessible unless you're willing to commit a substantial amount of time to them. For Iron Cast, you'll need to spend time finding the best pilot and vehicle combo, building and tweaking strategies, and hoping the gems fall your way. While I enjoyed the gameplay and found the setting to be fun and interesting, the game didn't have enough to convince me to commit the hours truly needed to enjoy Iron Cast. This has been Tyler with Inverted Access. Thank you for watching the review. For more on Ironcast and many other games, make sure to check out invertedaccess.com.